Have you heard much about how Cooper's doing at this point? Uh, he's currently made to the hospital and they're awaiting a CAT scan and we'll know more later tonight. Uh, everything looks good. He's moving around. He's moving his hands, moving his feet. So initial response is just a precaution and we'll see what happens once everything comes in tonight. And what did you tell your players after? Because obviously you had a delay. You had to still play another, I believe, six minutes in the third quarter and another quarter after that. How do you get your team still kind of looking forward to the rest of the game, still kind of get their mind in the game while also making sure that they don't completely forget about their teammate? Yeah, it was, it was actually, um, I was all with Cooper the whole time because I saw what happened and I knew it wasn't good. So I didn't get a whole lot of chance to see what was going on the sideline, but I heard the kids banded together and, and taking some time and, and, you know, looking out for his best interests. And, uh, it's actually kind of weird. I've had this happen you know, several times in my coaching career, and this is the first time where we got our three minutes to warm up. The kids came back out. They actually didn't come to the sideline. Our defense went out there, and they just did what they needed to do. Um, actually, one of the things we did talk about at the end of the game is the energy they brought after the injury compared to before. was It was noticeably and it was different. And uh, unfortunately, it was a higher level afterwards that we would like to see before. So I don't know what kicked in, what didn't kick in, but we gotta try and find a way to get to that place before something seriously happens on the field. And obviously, uh, we knew that coming in that this was a team that could run the ball a lot. At the end, you saw maybe some linebackers start to come in, but was it the line? Was it just how good they were able to find holes, the speed? What stuck out to you with their running game? Uh, well, the thing we talked about in the huddle at the end of the game, and it's kind of unfortunate, um, talk about the fact that we have an offensive D coordinator, defensive coordinator, and then a special teams coach, and I honestly believe that special teams cost us this game. I don't think it was anything offensively or defensively. It's hard for your defense to get in a rhythm when they score a touchdown on a kickoff return, or they get it to the four-yard line, or they get it to the one-yard line. How can you get in any rhythm and ask your kids, say, okay, you got to go out there and have four plays, because you know they're going to go for it on fourth down from the four-yard line. So you're putting them in a un a pretty hard situation so I honestly think that you know if we can maybe even kick it to the 50 yard line and make a pile maybe we have a better chance than kicking it deep and watch them just run to the other end of the field that was that was as far as offensively or defensively or strategy that's one thing we probably didn't see coming into the game and it, it kind of hit us inside of the head in the first half and that's probably what got us behind. When it comes to the punt returns I mean that's something that you probably don't really work on a whole lot because you're usually going it forward on fourth down usually as well. Yeah, we, we we work on it one day a week and very minimally, but you know, that's one of the things that we're trying to make sure that the kids do and are are, are good about and unfortunately for us, or fortunate however you want to look at it, you know, even the one on the fourth down earlier in the second half, our first half, you noticed how we made it look like we were going for it and we punted out of a fourth down formation just to try and you know, catch them with number 25, not dab back deep, because obviously our kids are struggling to tackle them right away. And obviously now the attention will focus on Sevastopol, and, you know, we, we saw this team kind of respond from tough losses, come out strong here. I don't think you really need to say much else coming into, you know, your rivalry week and coming off a tough homecoming loss as well. Yeah, I think... Uh... I mean, Sevastopol speaks for itself. I don't have to tell these kids anything. They know it. Um, we unfortunately lost to them in the spring, so it's kind of fresh in all of our minds. We know what happened. Uh, we don't want to lose to them twice in a year. So I'm sure our kids will come out strong and uh, be ready. The, the nice thing is we'll be on our home field, we'll be on our sideline, and then we'll make it happen from there, I hope. All right, well, Coach, but we'll let you go on your way here. Uh, obviously, still enjoy the happy homecoming weekend. Still a good effort no matter what the score was, and we'll talk to you next week when you take on Sebastopol. Sounds good, Tim. Thanks.